This short video is about a collaborative project on wave energy between the University of Edinburgh in Scotland and Dalian University of Technology in China. Collaboration between the two universities in the field of wave mechanics dates back over a period of about 30 years, early work being mostly on the development of optical techniques for wave measurement. Dalian University is one of the world's leading centres for marine technology, with advanced test facilities both in Dalian and at their Panjin campus. Scotland is at the forefront of developments in marine energy. Early work on the Salter Duck was done in Scotland, and since then there have been a number of other wave energy devices that have been tested at sea and have successfully fed energy into the grid. An example is the Palamis wave energy device. There have also been massive developments in tidal energy, one of the most recent being the Scott Renewables 2 megawatt machine launched in 2016. One of the world's most innovative wave and current test facilities, Flow Wave, has been constructed at the University of Edinburgh. The current project concerns the development of small-scale, buoy-type wave energy systems, which can be incorporated as part of other structures, such as floating breakwaters. Flume tests on cylindrical devices have been carried out in both Dalian and Edinburgh, and their performance over a range of sea conditions has been studied by numerical simulation. The simulations not only allow us to predict the sea surface and water velocities, but also the dynamics of the cylinder and the linear generator used for producing the power. The results of these studies have been published in the Journal of Ocean Engineering and also presented to international workshops such as the one in Harbin. It's January 2016 and I'm in Harbin in the north of China attending a workshop on offshore renewable energy. But at the same time I've been able to have a look at these fantastic sculptures which the students from all around the world are producing and there's even a group from Scotland here. Our plan is to develop the collaboration further between the two universities in both wave and tidal power.